Jim Hardy Trans Science Museum for girls in STEM. Bonus points if anyone can guess what my t-shirt is called. I do all kinds of fun stuff, but I get to go out and do field work. And I've done most of my field work in Peru, in South America, and also in Bolivia. And so what I brought with me are all kinds of pictures of actually digging, but also stuff on how we find sites. We use Google, Google Earth a lot today to like find sites, and we just like kind of scan around, look for different structures. Um, I brought with me stuff on uh, my ceramics work. So this is a piece of pottery. And I cut the pottery really, really thin to make this, which is called a thin section. And then you can look at this through the microscope and see all the rocks and clay and minerals inside of it. And then we can start to ask questions about the geology that went, like the rocks and clay that went into this. And we can say, was this made in the same place where it was found? And then we can see how people traded and moved around and start to look at like ancient politics in the past. That's really cool. So one of my questions is, what is the most exciting dig you've done? Well, I have been fortunate to be in a lot, but I have dug some sites with what are priestess burials that were filled with copper and pottery that looks like the pottery you see on that table, this museum quality stuff, huge chamber tombs with sacrifices and goblets that would have had blood in them. So really like Indiana Jones type stuff. Wow. The Indiana Jones ride from Disney. What's that? The Indiana Jones ride from Disney. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I haven't been attacked by boulders yet. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think it's important to be here today? I think this is a fantastic event. I love I love what I do. I absolutely love it and I love sharing that with other people and to get people excited about it because it's just it it's just 
constantly, every day, I have, I get to discover things, and I'm always questioning everything around me, and it's just so much fun, and I just want to share that with everybody, so I think that's important. <laughs> Thank you for taking a couple seconds to answer some questions. You're very welcome. Have fun today. <laughs> sheet here and I'm going to do my name in binary on a bracelet. So in that booth I spelled out Puchon in binary. So each color represents so I so each color represents what one color I think blue represents one and orange represents zero and I spelled out Puchon in the colors and it looks and it looks kind of like a random pattern but then it actually spells Puchon. So we're here at this exhibit which is kind of a nature art thing, which is how Emily started because she had a arts degree and then she started doing this and she got more and more into the museum space. So I so at this booth I made a quick sketch of a queen bee. So there is a queen bee pinned in here. So I used that to base off of my sketch. Pigeon fever, which creates an abscess on the chest. Um, so that's kind of like a fluid filled pocket. Um, and the horse, um, other symptoms of pigeon fever are a, fe a slight fever and stiff walking. And then there's strangles, which is similar, but it has um, an abscess on the neck instead of the chest. Um, and it causes like nasal discharge, so like gross stuff to come out of you know, like I think lots of gross boogers, right? Really nasty. Um, and then there's tetanus, which causes it to be really stiff. So I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a tetanus shot, um, which is a vaccine to help prevent um, this disease, and which is caused um, by a large puncture wound, so or like a deep wound, because tetanus likes to live in areas where there's not a lot of oxygen, so deep in your tissue. Um, and so over here at the microscopes, we have examples of each of those bacteria that cause these diseases, and they're dead, so it's perfectly safe. Um, you can go and look at them, and based on the, um, the shape of the bacteria and stuff, you can kind of compare and contrast to the unknown and figure out what disease the horse has. So, pretty cool, huh? Well, basically what we're going on is we're trying to diagnose this horse. And the sample in there is the disease that the horse has. And you said in there it was purple and it was a circle, right? So the circle means it's a cockeye, meaning it's just, it forms a circle when it like comes up. Or it's a bacilli, which is a rod. So those are like two different types of bacteria. So you can have a cockeye or like a rod, which is a bacilli. And it also comes in gram positive, which is purple, which is a way of identifying a bacteria. Or it comes in gram negative, which is pink, meaning it's a different type. And it's just how we identify different types of bacteria and like keep them apart and things like that. All right. Okay. So we had an amazing day today. I got a lot of really cool science-y buttons that I'm going to attach to the backpack I got. Today was absolutely amazing and I love this and I hope they do this more often, the girls and STEM thing. And with this button, I have a science-y joke that I've told a few times but nobody got it. If you get this, then extra points to you. See how many points you can rack up in the video. See if you get both of them. So I heard oxygen and magnesium were going out, and I was all like, "So that's my science joke." So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time to press the subscribe button, the subscribe button, the subscribe button, the subscribe, subscribe. Bye, 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 bye.